Hey everyone! As requested, I'm going to review what a so-called bodybuilder eats in a day. The Golem Monster Diet. Hello guys! Today I will make a video of my whole day eating. And uh, my first meal is oats. Look at this. 300 grams. This is the same kind of mental illness as a woman who gets breast implants. Nobody finds you attractive, you look deformed, and you only do it because you're insecure. Of all this, every morning. Okay, let's cook it. My first meal, oats. 300 grams of oats, my pre-workout meal. Let's start with it. And also for taste, I add mud fruit sweetener. As you see, zero calories. Oh yeah, I look like one big tumor, I eat peasant food, indigestible fiber, you're simply going to excrete it. This simply shows how stupid bodybuilders are. Stop eating oats! <laughs> look, it's just painful for him to eat it. It's torture, basically. Sushi. Okay. Probably some farm uh, garbage. Eating the sushi. That's all you can eat. And uh, also visit this place to eat some salmon sushi. And it's a great search of omega 3 and 6 oils. That's definitely farm salmon. Okay, this will probably be the best dish that has ever been in any of my videos that I review, which is great, but uh, this could really cause food poisoning simply because of how terribly the farmed salmon is treated with the antibiotics, what they get as food, a completely unnatural diet, which is why it's so orange and not red, of course, the flesh, and the omega-3s and 6s that he wants to get out of it no, the fat is incredibly toxic. It's not a good idea to eat it. Understandably, he wants to eat raw meat. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, he can count. Surprising. Of course, you also have the rice in there again. More indigestible fiber. Just pointless. And the uh, fake wasabi. Four, five, six. 36 pieces. I will try to fill this plate two or three times with the same. Mm. Also Diet Coke. It is great that he's promoting raw meat, technically, but... Uh, eh. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, I'm done. 36 pieces of sashimi, sashimi sushi and uh, tire too. I tried the same. Let's go. 36 pieces of sashimi sushi, tire too. Look man, if you want to eat the raw fish, you could also simply remove the rice. You would have way more space in your gut, which means that you could eat more of it. And again, this isn't the kind of fish that you should be eating raw. But if you want to, then you would be getting way more nutrients from it and you would just be overall more healthy. But when you eat stuff like this and these so-called bodybuilders, which he isn't really, he's just a drug addict, they eat so incredibly much that of course in their 40s or latest in their 50s, they get incredible gut tissues to the point where they can die from them. <laughs> Thirty-six pieces of sashimi sushi, tired three. <sighs> I need some soy sauce. Ninety-nine. I feel bad for him. It's kind of sad. Really deep down, he just looks like a little traumatized boy who ended up. With a severe mental illness, which is why he looks like that. The last one, 108. I want to show you what kind of meat I bought in Costco. 
It's also New York strip steaks, but here are two kinds of meat. Use the prime beef and the USDA. I wouldn't be surprised if this he's going to cook even though he just ate raw meat, but that's just the conditioning nowadays. <laughs> It's very important how much water I drink daily. Every day I drink five BPA bottles. water. It's seven a half liter of water. Other thing that I use usually in my daily routine, it's a uh, tuna steaks. It's the best night meal. But Is that canned tuna? I may be wrong. I've never seen this before, but then you're just getting a lot of heavy metals also with your tuna, so that's a bad idea. I wake up in the night, I eat maybe one or two tuna steaks. Then again he can get much see, sicker than it's this. A great search of proteins. And for me the main In a way he looks sicker than a vegan. Just mean rice. And also like a discounted spaghetti and some parmesan cheese. You know, the lehek. I wonder how old this guy actually is. I was assuming late forties, possibly fifty, but a lot of times bodybuilders look very aged, more than vegans, because of the sickness. I wouldn't be surprised if he's way younger. Very good. Uh, it doesn't even look incredibly overcooked. He knows what he needs. Of nice beef. Very good meal. I had lost three pounds of beef and now I need a little bit carbs. Uh, as I said, I eat separately proteins and carbs but that's good in a week I am you didn't before some space to a little bit carbs after my meat they have all you can eat menu for 1995 for 20 bucks you can eat the best quality meat today I had three pounds of meat for 20 bucks when I visit Costco and why would it be the best quality meat I think he's confusing the best tasting meat, which he thinks it is, to the best quality meat. No restaurant on earth, except for some absolutely luxurious place, serves good quality meat. This is not one of them, can't even be. Now we are home after a Brazilian restaurant and uh, I need to fill my body with carbs. Uh, as I said, I use uh, Yasmin rice and uh, two or three times daily I need to eat uh, three portions and one portion have like uh, 500 grams of rice and uh, it depends on day but uh, one kilo of rice it's my normal daily income okay if he thinks he needs carbs then he needs carbs whatever but uh why this obsession with grains you guys have been completely brainwashed to believe that eating grains is the way to get carbs sugar even though fruit is so incredibly superior to this not only the way it works in the body but also simply because this stuff is incredibly hard to digest and you're just ruining your gut and uh, you're making your intestines all sticky with the gluten and it's in every grain out there contrary to popular belief not only in wheat as they say and eventually you can't absorb any nutrients anymore today i maybe eat less because i had a sushi i had also sashimi sushi in japanese restaurant and uh, maybe i'll have only one portion of rice okay my next meal is 300 grams of uh, pasta or spaghetti and uh, 200 grams of cheese and uh, then I add to this it's nice salsa it's funny that he said that he likes spaghetti it's one of his favorite foods but what is that if you would eat it raw there's no way that you would be able to eat it 
So of course he adds the cheese because that's what makes him want to maybe eat it. And then of course the sauce and that even more maybe covers up the horrible taste of the actual noodles. And that's the only way he can swallow that garbage, but that's just a typical peasant food, especially for Europeans. Brainwashed drug addicts like this wouldn't die in their 40s and 50s if they would at least leave out all of the grains and the junk that they eat. Maybe they would live to 60 and of course they would still die early. You know, uh, spaghetti is not my often meal, but uh, some days I change one portion of rice for spaghetti. Uh, and I think the spaghetti, the quality spaghetti is, is also a good search of carbs. No. From my trip to LA, I had a fall in uh, the squat and uh, I make a crack in my bone here. Uh -huh. As you see, wow, that's painful. My left hand is really not healed. So now I have some really light trainings and uh, don't feel good for now, but but you know, shit happens and... Uh... It's really kind of sad. I really think he has some kind of brain damage. They need to go forward. And my last meal is three pounds of New York strip steaks from Costco. Cooking it simply destroys the nutrients, makes it more indigestible and creates carcinogens. Not that that would really do much more damage to him. Thanks God, my last meal. You don't even like it, obviously. It's on your face. Who wants to eat all day long? He did leave it pretty rare. That's nice. And after steaks, I want some desert. Cottage cheese desert. with more fruit sweetener. I don't eat it every day, but like twice a week I add it to my daily income and uh, it's a great source of calcium. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, cow's milk, which is probably what it's made out of, does actually have more calcium than the milk from other animals. Consider what you're eating the whole day long. So many anti-nutrients, you're not going to get any calcium out of it anyway because your gut is full of that stuff. It's just a big pile of absolute rotting uh, fiber and whatnot. That's why you're not going to get any calcium out of it. And besides that, it's pasteurized, so the nutrients in the food are not actually absorbable anymore. Calcium. Let's see how much pancakes I can eat in one meal. And, uh, you know, you can, you can try the same. Uh, just uh, make a video, a time-lapse video of your eating the pancakes. Uh, use hashtag uh, Ilya Golan challenge. Only 14 pancakes, but after the whole day eating, I think it's not bad. Now you're definitely not getting any calcium. <laughs> Again, it's just grain sludge with anti nutrients. Absolute slave food, the worst. Your turn. No thanks. Moron. It's really just uh, painful to watch somebody completely destroying his body. But that's the life he chose. He does, of course, as I said before, um, at least deep down understand that he needs a lot of meat. In that sense, uh, his diet was all fine. But of course, if that's the only thing he would eat and uh, tons of raw liver, for example, and so on, then he could actually create a healthy physique and live a longer and healthier life. If he would cut down on all of the drugs, of course. But uh, that's the way he wants to look and whatever. I think that they should really look deep down into themselves and realize why they are doing this to themselves because you're not doing your body a favor. You're destroying it. It's self-destructive. You have very deep issues. Anybody who watches him and wants to be like him is severely mentally ill. In some ways, more than anybody who's vegan. And as I said, it's in many ways way unhealthier, actually. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.